<sighs> it's just you. Good, good. The scariest thing just happened to me. I was running Rabbit MQ on a production Kubernetes cluster. Kubernetes, right? You've heard the stories too? Okay, it's not just me. So, Kubernetes, right? I should have just believed the stories. It's not all it's cracked up to be. It's not all sunshine, rainbows, ponies, things like that. It's serious work. So, I'd spun up my RabbitMQ cluster using a Helm chart. That's what everyone else is doing, right? So, that's, that should have been fine for me. Got my persistent volume claims. I have my Erlang cookie. And I've got three stateful set nodes. Three stateful set pods. I, I couldn't even imagine anything that would fail or go wrong. Well, come 3 a.m., <laughs> Amazon was happy to prove me wrong. One of the machines had gone down. And turns out that the logic for the Helm chart? Well, everything was pointing back to that zero indexed pod for RabbitMQ. So you can imagine that when it started to come back up and its state got corrupted, nothing worked. <laughs> wow, that was an event. So 3 a.m. me, jumping into the cluster, taking a look around trying to orient myself. <sighs> that took a lot of caffeine. But after a while, we were finally able to solve it. Thank goodness. Me and my team were able to look at logic that was set in the controller, and we were able to move on to a better setup and help fix that home chart. Because nobody likes a cluster that goes down at 3 a.m. Stay safe out there. Those clusters are scary and dangerous places. <laughs> Hope y'all are enjoying the conference.